Hey everyone, we're back again and today I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to download and install the Kuroko and now Kuroko Slam Dunk NBA 2K14 mod. Alright, so let's get right into the tutorial. The first thing you have to know is in order for this download to go as smoothly as possible, there are a couple things that you need to have open before you start. First of all, you need to find the folder where your NBA 2K14 game is stored. It has a bunch of files for pretty much everything in the game. So you kind of want to have that ready. The next thing you want to have ready is the actual download page for the mod, which I'll link in the description. And it's also in the description of pretty much every video I have out for this mod. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a folder where you'll be downloading all of the mod, fo uh, the mod folders and files too, because there's a lot of them. They're separated into a bunch of different subfolders. Like as we'll see right here, I already have it downloaded, so you'll have a bunch of subfolders with um, files that you're going to need to install to get the mod working. So just kind of make a large master file for, uh, to hold all of them. So now we're going to move on to the actual download. We're starting off on Metavanx's website um, for most of you guys, if you're downloading this for the first time, this is the um, the second beta version. So if you have the first one, you could technically just download the updates. But I'm going to assume that we're downloading it for the first time. And then this expansion will come out and it has all the um, download options. First off, you have the app data files. These are the most important files because they actually include the rosters so you're going to need to do that you can do one of two downloads i just picked media fire prepares the download you just hit download it downloads and then when you come back here here are all the um, main directory files so these four are can be downloaded separately if you have a slower internet connection but if your internet connection is fast it can pretty much handle the full pack which consolidates four downloads into one let's uh so if you find a way to if you navigate this it should get you to the download download that download the logos that's what gives the scoreboards the little team decals and it puts team decals for all the um all the teams and then you have the these are the optional files these are the only files that you don't need to download to get the mod to work but these are at least one of them is i think one of the coolest features of the new update which is the anime jukebox it has um it replaces pretty much all of NBA 2K14 soundtrack with the opening and ending songs from Slam Dunk and Kuroko. So you download that. And then the Universal Portrait Project is what allows the rosters to actually show pictures for the players, like kind of towards the end of my demonstration video when I went down all the rosters showing the players okay so once you've downloaded all these files we aren't going to need this website anymore so we're basically going to be doing everything mostly everything within the main directory of nba 2k14 and with our download files so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your downloads and then you're going to open up all the main directory files. You're going to just pretty much 
click and drag. You're going to copy the files. Go into your NBA 2K14 file. And then just hit paste. And you'll upload all the files into the NBA 2K14 main directory. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because I already have them all installed. But it should work pretty easily. You do all the main directory files, you do the courts, the cyber faces, the jerseys. Then you also do the portrait file, which is an easy two files. You do the logos files, you do logos, scoreboards. And then here's the more confusing part. It's the app data files. These need to go in a special directory for NBA 2K14 saves and that directory isn't readily accessible. Here's how you can access the file that or the folder that these need to go into. If you're on Windows 8 you just head here to search or you just go on find if you have any windows. You go percent sign app data percent sign hit enter and it brings up this um, this new directory. You're going to go to 2K Sports, NBA 2K14, you're going to go to Saves, and then here you're going to transfer the roster files and the slider files. And then once you are done with that, you have officially installed the mod, but we are not done yet. Let's launch the game now. And uh, let me grab my controller. When you see I'm launching it in a windowed format just because Camtasia has a difficult time capturing full screen games. So. Here we go, we are starting. We're not exactly at the title screen yet, but we're getting there. Basketball. Okay, let's skip that. And then as soon as I press start, you're gonna see that it'll play a song from either Slam Dunk or Kuroko. Oh geez, that is loud. But yeah, there it is. That is the uh, first opening of Slam Dunk, and now we're here. So when you originally load up the game, you will notice that it's still NBA 2K14, except with anime music. So to actually get the mod to work, you're going to need to come here to Options, Load Save, Load, Yes, and then choose any one of the three rosters. I'll load... Um, roster 3, which loads the rosters from the third season of both animes. And then once you do that, you come back to the home, and there you have it. You now have a modded version of NBA 2K14 that works with Kuroko and Slam Dunk teams. So there you have it. Hopefully this helped you get the mod up and running. Hopefully you guys can have as much fun as I've been having with this mod. It's honestly really fun and I've been enjoying it a lot. I hope you enjoy it as well. And I hope you stick around for more content from the Kuroko Slam Dunk NBA 2K14 mod and possibly some Pokemon content. Who knows? Alright, so till next time, see ya.